Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's weekend webinar. Weekend Sunday, 02108. This webinar. We'll have to, I'm not going to discuss too much because as you can hear, I'm still a bit raspy and I need my voice for this week's trading. But we're going to talk about how the Dow transports lead the Dow. The Dow is made up of a bunch of stocks and you can break out the transportation stocks out of the Dow and use that as its own average. I'm going to show you that average. I'm going to show you what it's doing. And I'll show you a couple of other things that I think you'll find interesting. And then I'm out of here because I want to go to Fremont Street with my kids and have a little time off. So, and that's what we're doing tonight, guys. You're going to come or? We're in. All right. That's what we got planned. I don't know if anyone's ever been to Vegas before, but Fremont Street is a pretty cool place to take the children. All right, traders. So, last week we talked about some mirror images. In fact, I came out with those boxing gloves on and I was like, I'm going to show you some magic. And I want to show you what the end result was of that magic, the mirror images. Now, of course, we gave it to you before the fact, not after. So on my TV land, we are actually here to tell you what very well will happen tomorrow, not what happened yesterday. And you know that's what we do here, traders. At the Omni Trading Academy, we try to teach you how to figure that out for yourselves. And techniques like the one I'm about to show you on the board, the few I'm about to show you on the board, I think will help you get closer and closer to that point in your analysis studies that you can call these markets for yourself. If you'd like, come on down to our site. It's www.livewithoscar.com. Become a member of the site and you too can learn this craft for yourselves. Traders, I assure you, we are excellent instructors here. Come to the site and ask any of the Omniax. We know how to present it to you so that you can actually figure this out for yourselves. Well, with no further ado, let's go to those charts. Let me show you some techniques, traders. Okay, traders, what I'm going to show you now is the NASDAQ 100, the E-mini NASDAQ. We pointed out the mirror image formation. Oh, in the last video that we did, we pointed out a mirror image formation and said, this is what happens after a mirror image. Boom, 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 and it breaks down. Here is that formation. Again, if you come to the site, we'd be more than happy to show you how to find that for yourselves. We then showed you another formation last week before it happened. And we said, here's another mirror image formation, and this means the market will crack. All three parts of the mirror image were in place, and we were ready to go. Well, the market settled that day at 17.85, and it cracked all the way down to 17.13. For you quick mathematicians out there, that's 72 points. Oh, my God, that right. I just did it in my head. <laughs> it should be 72 points. We broke 72 points lower after that mirror image. Traders, they really do work well. So make sure you come to the academy so we can teach you how to spot something as simple as a mirror image and convert that into hopefully winning trades. Let's look at more charts here. Okay, traders, the next chart we wanted to show you was the S&P. We showed you this same exact mirror image last week. Just another illustration. I want to reinforce how well they work. You had your mirror image formation right here, and then the market proceeded to break down. It works really, really well. We also had another what we hoped would be one here, but the fact that it really wasn't symmetrical, we couldn't call for it. But just to show you that once again, that it worked really, really well. It worked in the NASDAQ, it worked in the Dow Jones, and it worked in the S&P. Traders, these mirror images are fantastic, so make sure you keep your eyes open for them. And you traders, if you do find them, make sure you come to the site and let me know about them so we can qualify them together. Okay, traders, next chart up here is the Dow Jones transportation chart. These are the transportation stocks broken out of the Dow Jones itself. According to the Dow Jones theory, the transportation stocks lead the entire stock market. That being the case, let's look at it. I've come up with another one of my zany averages I love to use here at the Omni Trading Academy. If you come on down to the site at www.livewithoscar.com and become a gold class member or higher, I will be more than happy to share this information with you. 
But look at how well this average works on the Dow Jones transports. And if that's the leader of the Dow Jones, then you need to know what that average is for sure. So come on down and find out so I can uh, help you go further in your studies. If you look here on that average, it held very well. The market runs up, comes back down, hits that average again, undeniably runs up. When it does break the average, look at the size of the crack that takes place. Runs back up, hits the average, fails, big break. Runs back up, never even touches the average, but gets close all the way to here. Fails, look at that break. Now we've come back up, touched the average, and we're starting to come off already. This average right here, traders, what a fantastic find. It's one of the, one of the many little tricks that I use to figure out where these markets are going. So that's the Dow Jones Transportation Daily. Let me take you a little further now into that with a few indicators so we can see if it's going to get above that line or get below the line. Okay, traders, once again, the Dow Jones Transportation Average with our specialty moving average running along the top. As you can see in a much closer vision of this, a much closer look, we absolutely are running into trouble every time we hit this. As, we, as I've shown you in that same chart with a little more history on it. But now look at the stochastics. Stochastics are crossing over in the overbought territory and looking like they want to go higher. The rate of change indicator, the ROC, the rate of change, is also beginning to dip down. And many other indicators are doing the same. So indicators are indicating, if you will, that we are probably going to go lower and fail at this average and continue on down. As you know, I'm a bear right now with the stock market. Looking at that, that's certainly another reason why I should be bearish. Let's look a little deeper into this. Okay, traders, now we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average itself. The Dow Jones, we've already seen the big drop. I've shown you the mirror images in last week's video, mid-week, mid somewhere around Wednesday. Was it Wednesday, gentlemen? Bob? I uh, think so. Somewhere around Wednesday, Thursday, if you look, you'll see those mirror images. I think it was Wednesday. The market did break down, and now look, stochastics have already bent, and they're on their way. And the rate of change indicator is also on its way down. As you can see, we certainly have put in our rounded top in this market, and we're working in some sort of a trend, and I think we'll continue. That's the ugliest trend lines I've ever put on a chart in my life, traders. <laughs> But I'm working off the side here with this marker, so you get what you get. In any event, the Dow Jones itself is already starting to head down. I think it's waiting for its cue from the Dow Jones Transportation Average. And when that tells us where it's going, and again, I never ever tell the markets where they're going. I listen to the charts and the markets tell me. And then, of course, I tell my Omniacs, my followers here. But I think that we are going to head down from this. Let's see if the Dow Jones Transports ever does get above that average, and then we'll take another look at this. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts. You see that, right? That average just hovered over the Dow Jones Transport. Just hovered over it, and you can't deny things like that. I assure you that when you see something working that well, it's like the wheel. It's already been invented. You put it on your car, and it makes the car go. Well, that's already been invented by others. I just put it to use. And it makes the chart go, or at least it makes me trade off of it the way I should. So I thought I'd present that to you. Remember, if you do your homework, you will find that in most cases, the Dow Transports is in front of the Dow. It moves first, it gives the indication, and then it goes. So it's sort of like the Dow uses the Transports as its own indicator in some weird way. So I just wanted to make sure that you've seen that trade. Do your own homework on this. Pull up your charts. Do your homework. Send me your charts. Always send me your homework. If you're not sure of what you're looking at, one of the things I don't mind doing at all is looking at your homework and sending back a reply on what I've seen in your analysis. And you can simply do that by pulling up a chart on your computer, drawing your trend lines, putting your averages, whatever te techniques at all that you use. Put them on the charts, put a little blurb on that chart, and shoot me the email. You can send that email to oscar at futuresanalysts.com, and I will certainly review your homework and shoot you back my reply. All right, traders, again, you can hear my voice starting to go, so I really can't do too much. I will say this, never trade alone. Traders, come on down to the site. They find out what the fanfare is all about. I assure you, 
If you come down to the site and just ask the members a few questions, you will find that it is a really, really good place for you to learn how to do your analysis. And it's a great place for you to bounce your ideas off of others before you trade. And we have some really astute traders out there. So make sure that you don't trade alone and you come to our rooms. We do have the, free, the premium trading room. We have a free chat room open to the public. And we have the premium trading room. In that premium trading room, you get more in-depth analysis than this from me. And when a trade is about to happen, I say it right in the microphone on the camera and we react like that. So if you are serious about trading, become a premium member at the site. Join the premium room. I assure you that will be one of the best things that you can do for yourself when it comes to trading these rough and tumble markets. Traders, we have tons of YouTube videos. I'm going to point to you right now, so you better stop guessing. How many we got, Mike? 270. 270. That wasn't even a guess. Very good. We have 270 videos. A lot like this on YouTube. They have a lot of techniques in them to help you learn from traders. So go start studying and then come on down to the site and join us. You can find our YouTube presence at www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. When you get there, make sure you subscribe to those videos so YouTube will let you know the moment that we put out a video. You go to YouTube, you get an email, you know that we have a new video. Okay, traders, I'm just about done. My phone number is 702-629-4755. Come on down. I am a broker. I would love to be your personal broker, mentor, and trading coach. But you don't need to have an account to share on what we offer to, to, to help our traders and to help the Omniacs out there. So just come on down. If you want me to have your account, I'd be more than happy to be your broker. But don't worry about that. Come to the site and learn for yourselves. Okay, traders. This is one of the things that I have found. I've gotten testimonials this deep, stacks of letters, and they say this helps them so much. It helps to keep their emotions out. It reminds them every day of how you should mentally deal with this. And you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.